These are 10 things I want to say to you. One, you are beautiful and you will never be called anything else ever again. Two, of all the stars that glitter across the nebula of your loveliness, your beauty shines the faintest. Not because you are not the spitting image of your ethereal creator, but because your beauty does not define you. You define it. You are beautiful, wonderful, funny, creative, kind, and compassionate, brilliant, and humble. How do you do it? How do you stay so down to earth when you have a smile that makes me want to jump through the clouds? You are inextinguishable, never ending, never hating, never hurting ever again. You are a supernova, shining, guiding fishermen home to their families, providing the soundtrack for first kiss and hugging the earth so that the rest of us might have some idea of what it feels like to love. Thank you. Three. I promise you I will never let them say that you took your own life. All you ever took was punishment and the shitty circumstances life gave you. Four, I'm sorry you were born ahead of your time. I'm sorry you're too brilliantly different for the rest of us to even comprehend. I'm sorry you had to suffer because like Van Gogh, your genius and your pain were too complicated for the rest of us to appreciate. I'm sorry that the rest of us don't get it, even though you're not alone. And Elton John, Halle Berry, Owen Wilson, Princess Diana, Tina Turner, Marshall Mathers, Ozzy Osbourne, Richard Pryor, Mike Tyson, Walt Disney, Billy Joel, Sammy Davis Jr., Michael and Paris Jackson, Paul Robeson and Nina Simone have all tried to explain it to us, but nothing has changed. Five. I remember the first time I found something other than clothes hanging in my closet. Six. You have nothing but respect for me, because like Christ you were chosen to carry a burden I could never bear. Seven. I know you wouldn't want me to. Your actions tell me that you never wish any harm on them, but I hate them. Eight. Not the children, because you can't appreciate what it means to lose a life if you haven't lived yet, and we are just starting to understand what it means to be born this way, but I've never seen a newborn express hate, so they must be getting it from somewhere. 9. No, my hate is for the mourners. Everyone who will ever gather around your grave and drop roses on your broken form like meaningless comments on the internet video, meant to be discarded and then forgotten. How can we honestly think we care about suicide victims or by tomorrow? It will be business as usual for everyone whose grocery bill doesn't have one less mouth to feed. We say bullying is the problem. Problem. We don't know what bullying is. Think about it. Before she died, did anyone check her YouTube history? If after a long day she visited the channel of her favorite Pokétuber, what do you think she heard? Bitch, cunt, pussy, nigga, faggot, get dropped on the daily. I don't think we're evil, but consider how much pain we've caused all because we don't think about what we say to millions of people. So before anyone in this community tells me this is a tragedy, why don't we take a closer look at our own fucking vocabulary? Sorry because as enlightened as I try to be, I still cause pain for those around me. I'm terrified at the prospect of being handed my tab, being definitively told how many belts I buckled around teenage throats, and how many wrists are scarred in remembrance of me. How often my words might have been the last straw or contributed in any way to the pain of others. Listen. There are those closest to me now who I love with everything I have, and my heart aches at the thought that no one in this life has ever tapped more tears from the spigots of their eyes than me. Please, help me to be better, and to love as you love. Help me to be as selfless as you were. 11. I didn't write this down in the original. But I just wanted you to know that 10,000 years from now, when the world has advanced enough to appreciate the beauty of your genius, they will look into the stars and build monuments in your name, towering above the sand like your ability to love so dwarfed the rest of us. Know that you will never be forgotten. Know that you will never be forgotten.